Right, the purpose of this video is to clear up some confusions that I still see in your tables. Some of you are still having challenges with the APA formatted tables. And so um, I'm going to go over um, the basics and also show you how to format tables in Word. Um, the first thing that you have to do when using a table in APA is to actually mention it in the text. So you can see here in this sample from um, one of the students in class, they mention, they refer to the table in the first sentence. I read all of the assigned readings, and then they refer, cite, in parentheses, the table, C table 1. That's exactly correct. Then at the end of this paragraph, they, I'm asking you to insert a table call out. Now, if you try to find table call outs in the APA manual, they are not there. Table callouts are not technically APA format. However, they are required by virtually every journal that publishes. So if you're going to be writing for publication, which you all need to do eventually, you need to become skilled at using table callouts. Also, they're just easier for um, the reviewer, in this case, the teacher of the class, to um, to find where the tables belong if you insert a table call out. So we'll scroll down to the end of this paragraph. Now you may think the paragraph ends right here, but that is not where the paragraph ends because there is a block quotation here. Block quotations are anytime you have more than 40 words that are quoted. This is 41 words. And this is um, this block quote is formatted properly. It's indented on the left, but it is not indented on the right. So it's indented a half an inch in, still double spaced. Um, then the paragraph continues here. You know it's the same paragraph because this is not indented. And then we get to the end of the paragraph down here with the valuation findings. And then you'll see the student has inserted a table call out. Now you can type it like this, insert table 1 about here with a lowercase a and a lowercase h, or you can make it a capital A and a capital H. That isn't really important. Um, this is called sentence style um, capitalization, or you can also do title style capitalization. So the first thing you have to do with tables is to mention them into the, in the text, to refer to them actually then immediately at the end of that paragraph I'm asking you to insert a table call out or if you're doing a figure a figure call out um, again that's not APA format but it is required by virtually all journals for which you might publish in the third thing you have to do besides referring to the table and inserting a call out is to then actually put the table at the end of your document. The table comes after the reference page. So here you see the references and then there is blank the rest of the page and at the beginning of the next page that is where you insert the table. You always put the table label at the top so table with a number then in italics you give a title of the table and it's double spaced just as regular APA things are done and then you actually create the table. Now this is what a table looks like in Word when you automatically create it. However, it is not APA formatted. So we're going to do some things to make it look better and to make it formatted properly in APA style. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width of the columns because we've got a lot of text crammed over on the left column and then we just have the percentages over here that don't really need that much space. So to change the size of the second column, I'm going to move my cursor on top of the little dividing line there between the two columns. I'm going to click and hold on the left side, left click and hold, and then just drag that column over there. And you'll notice that it makes it much smaller. Now there is, okay, so now let's look at the text in this. You'll see the top is double spaced. I know it's double spaced because look at the, what happens when this 
becomes two lines here. It doesn't look the same as this text over here, which is single spaced. Now this is one place where you have an option in APA format. You can put the data in your tables single spaced or you can put it double spaced, but you don't need to mix it. So since most of this is already single spaced, I'm going to change the whole thing to single spacing. Now many of you know that right up here in the paragraph formatting block there's a quick little line spacing thing that you can change. You just click on that. However, sometimes, I know some of you are having problems with the um, lines having extra space added after them. And I would suggest that you might want to check with the full dialog box because that's where you'll see whether or not there's space added before or after. So here you see we've got single space selected. And right over here is the area where we will look to see whether there's extra space before or after and here there is none so it's set at zero points and that's what we want so let's just say OK but you'll notice that this section of the table is larger than those other ones so somehow that is just set to be bigger so we're going to move that up I just click on the, on the border between the two rows left click and drag and then that resizes it. Alright, we're almost there. We still have a problem. In APA format we there are only horizontal rules. Rules are lines. So there are no vertical lines in APA tables. So we need to get rid of all of these vertical lines to do that I select the table and I can do that by actually clicking in one cell and dragging down to the other corner and I've got the table selected to unselect it I just click off of the highlighted area or I can come up to the top left corner of the table and you see that little directional arrow box if I just click on that it selects the table for me as well this is actually the preferred way to select the table um, if you're going to do a shortcut because it actually selects the entire table instead of just the contents within the table. There is a third way of selecting the table and that is to go up to the top to the table tools and click on layout then go to the far left side of the menu options and you'll see select click on that and you tell it what you want to select. I want to select the table now that I've selected the table, I want to um, do something with the borders of the table. That's what these lines are called. So I'm going to right click and it pops up several options and borders and shading are what we want to take care of. So I click on that and it pops up this borders and shading window. Now I don't want any vertical lines right now and so you can see the horizontal lines are indicated by these little boxes on the left the vertical lines are indicated by these little boxes at the bottom when they are colored that means that you have those lines active and this is also important you can see you can see that these um, this uh, these lines apply to the whole table. You can change it to be text, paragraph, or cell, but we're wanting to apply to the entire table. To get rid of the lines, I simply click on these blue boxes, and you'll notice the vertical lines are disappearing in this little figure above. So now I click OK, and I've gotten rid of the vertical lines. We still have a problem, however, because APA tables only generally have three horizontal lines. There's one line at the top, there's one line just underneath the headings, and there's one line at the bottom. So these lines that are in the middle here, between the, the bottom line and the line that's under the headings, those need to go. So we follow the same process. I, I select the areas where I want to change the borders, so I highlight those three rows and I want to get rid of these two lines that are in between. 
So I right click, I select borders and shading, and I want to leave the top line and I want to leave the bottom line. So I don't click the top blue box or the bottom blue box. I simply click the middle blue box because I want to get rid of the lines that are in the middle of what I've selected. Now I click OK and the horizontal lines have gone from the middle of what I selected. Now we have a properly formatted APA table.